Hi, my name is Josh and I'm a guitar tutor for South Lanarkshire Leisure and Culture and today we're going to be learning the theme from Mission Impossible. It sounds like this. Okay, so a few different parts to this song with the main riff being the Okay, so we'll start we'll start with that bit the very beginning. So again just a quick recap. Each of your uh, fingers is named after a number with your pointer finger being finger one, your middle finger being finger two, ring finger finger three, and your pinky of course finger four. So, to start this off, we're going to use our third finger and we're going to put it in the third fret of the E string. And we're going to play that twice. So we're going to go... Okay, just third finger in the third fret of the E string. And we'll play that twice. And then we're going to put our first finger on the first fret of the A string. Play that once. Then add our third finger onto the same string, but the third fret. And then we're going to move that finger back up to the E string in the third fret. Okay, and play that again twice. Okay, so starting off, third finger in the third fret of the E string. Play that twice. Then first finger in the first fret of the A string. Third finger in the third fret of the E string. Move that finger up to the third fret of the E string. And play that twice like that. Okay, so all together those two bars will sound like this. Okay. Now, practice that like as slow as, as you can really at first, just getting used to it, using the right fingers. Maybe about this speed. Just to make sure you've got it, using both your first and first finger for this part. The next bar, or the third bar, starts with your first finger in the first fret of the E string. And then the second finger in the second fret of the E string. And then your third finger in the third fret of the E string. And you'll play that one twice. So, first fret in the first fret, first, first fret in the first fret. First finger in the first fret of the E string. Second finger in the second fret of the E string. And then third finger on the third fret of the E string. And you'll play it twice. And then the next bar goes down to the A string. It's actually the exact same as what we did in the, sec the, the second bar of the song. It's first finger in the first fret of the A string. Third finger in the third fret of the A string. And then Move your finger up to the E string again in the third fret and play that twice. Okay, so the third and fourth bars sound like this. Okay, practice that nice and slow, and once you can do that, put that whole first line together. So the whole first line goes like this. So, all together, just jump back to where I say, so the whole first line goes like this. I'm going to do that again. So the whole first, li so the whole first line goes like this. Okay, so that's the main riff of the song, that first line. Practice that nice and slow and then start putting each of the bars together and once you can do it really slowly, then you can speed it up a wee bit and practice that before you move on to the next part. 
So the next part is the bit that goes like this. Okay, play that one more time. Okay, so that's the second line. The first two notes of that second line, the one and the two, they're essentially like the end of the last part. So that's finishing off the first section really. So this section starts halfway through that bar with the third fret on the G string, followed by an open G, and then an open D. Okay, at this part, I'd maybe use your second finger for the third fret, okay? Just, just to make it easy uh, for, for the next bar that comes along. So second finger on the third fret of the G, open G, and then open D, okay? And then the next bar is the same thing again until the last note. So it's second finger on the third fret of the G, open G, and then this time you're going to take your third finger and put it in the fourth fret of the A string. Okay, so that's the only note that's different. So first bar is third fret in the G, open G, then open D. And then it goes third fret in the G again, open G again, but this time it's fourth fret on the A. Okay, now the next bar it is the same thing again, but it ends in the third fret of the A this time. So it's open G, op uh, sorry, third fret in the G, open G, and then third fret on the A string. Okay, so those three bars together start. Okay, so the first two notes of each bar is the exact same thing. Third fret in the G, open G, and then the first bar is just the open D. The second bar you finish in the fourth fret of the A, and the third bar you finish in third, the third fret of the A. Okay? And then you finish this section off with first fret on the A, third fret in the A. Okay? So, first fret in the A, third fret in the A. And now that's the first two notes of the next bar, the last bar in the second line. That ends off this section. So all together that section sounds like this. Okay, first fret and then third fret of the A to finish that off. Same as the first section, just practice that really slowly, putting it together and then once once you can play that, maybe go back to the first section and see if you can put those two parts together. So both those parts together would sound like this. Okay, so practice those two those two bar eh, those two sections together nice and slowly at first and then putting them together. Uh, lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, yeah, so practice those two sections together, nice and slowly at first, and as you get more confident, you can speed it up. And then once you've got it about, like maybe like a speed I was playing it, then you're ready to, to move on to the next section. So the next section starts with the last two notes of a, of the second, of the, the last two notes of the second. Okay, so the next section starts with the last two notes of the, the last bar in the second line, which is the third fret and the E string twice. So you just play that twice with your third finger. And then you're going down to your first fret of the A string, and then the third fret of the A string. So very much like the, uh, the very beginning riff. And then it goes back up to the third fret of the E string. But then, and then again, it goes to the first fret of the E string and then second fret of the E string. Okay, so we've played, the, that's like a repeat of the, the main riff. 
Okay, so fourth fret in the E, first fret in the E, fourth fret of the E, uh, fourth fret in the E twice again, then first fret in the E, and then second fret in the E. Okay, so that's like a wee bridge between the the second and third parts. Then the next part begins with the third fret in the G string, followed by an open G, and then second fret on the E string. Okay? I'll quickly play you this whole section so you know what it is you're going to learn. It's the bit that goes like this. Okay? So, that starts halfway through the second bar on the third line of, of your music. So it's third fret on the G string, followed by an open G string, and then second fret on the E string this time. Okay, so third fret on the G, open G, and then a second fret on the high E. Now the next part is the exact same thing to start off. Third fret on the G, open G, and then this time though, instead of playing the second fret of the E string, we're gonna play the first fret of the E string. Okay, so open, uh, third fret of the G, open G, first fret of the E. And now the next time, starting off the exact same thing again, third fret in the G, open G, and then open E this time. Okay, so those three parts together, it's all the same thing, but the only thing that changes is the, the note you play in the high E string. It's always third fret in the G, and then open G. So you're gonna go third fret in the G, open G, second fret on the E, then the same again, but this time it's the first fret in the E, and then the last time, same again, but it's an open E this time. And then to finish off this wee melody, it's the fourth fret in the B, and then third fret in the B. Okay, so that's fourth fret in the B, and then third fret in the B. So all together you'll get. And that's that section. So now you've got three sections, and you can put practice that individually. Once you can do that, same as before, go back to the beginning and just try and build upon that all parts together. Okay, now there's one more section to learn really, and then the rest of it's just a repeat of what you've already learned. Next section, it's the same sort of rhythm as the one we just played, so it, it shouldn't be too difficult to learn. I'll play it anyway so you know how it sounds. It goes like this. So that's very similar to... It's very similar to that part. It's the same rhythm, just different notes. So, to begin with, it's going to be the 4th fret on the B string. Now, if you can, I want you to try and use your pinky for this. Um, I know that it, it can be quite difficult using your pinky, if it, it, and particularly when you first start playing because your pinky is your weakest finger but it's, it's good to use it as early as possible because by doing that, that's the only way like, to make it stronger and it will really help you in the future with your playing. So, we're gonna start with our pinky on the uh, fourth fret of the B string. We're gonna play that and then it's the first fret of the B string and then we're gonna play an open G string. Okay, so that's pinky on the 4th fret of the B, followed by the 1st fret of the B, and then an open G. Okay? And then the next part starts off the exact same way. 4th fret of the, the B string again with your pinky, then 1st fret of the B, but this time we're going to go to the 4th fret of the D string, and again, try and use your pinky for this one. Okay? So that second bar goes, 4th fret of the uh, B string, 1st fret of the B string, and then 4th fret of the D string. 
And then again, we're going to go back, do the exact same thing we've done before. Fourth fret of the B string. First fret of the B string. And then this time we're going to the third fret of the D string. And you can use your third finger for that one. So those three bars together, each of the first two notes is the same. It's the pinky in the fourth fret of the B string followed by the first fret of the B. And then all that changes is the last note. In the first bar it's the open G. Second bar is fourth fret of the D. And then the last bar is third fret of the uh, D. So that will sound like this. Okay, and then to finish that section off, it's just first fret in the D, followed by third fret in the D. So first fret in the D, followed by third fret in the D. Okay, so nice and slowly, that whole section should sound something like this. Okay, and that's essentially, once you, you can play to that point, that's the whole song really. So, same again, you've now got four sections. Practice that last section. Once you're able to do that, speed it up a wee bit if you can, and then just go back to the beginning and just try and play to there. After that, the next part is just the... The part you've done before and then the very last part is just the main riff again, the very beginning. And that's it. Okay, so you've got all the four parts to work your way through. There's quite a lot to learn there, so break it into those wee parts at a time. Maybe pause the video and practice that for a couple of days before you go on to the next part. But that's Mission Impossible. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next week for your next guitar lesson.